Um, got one question or maybe a, maybe a statement. Um, you brought up the exit strategy. Uh, so it's a really good point because a lot of people actually traditionally for years back were just throwing up random products and, and just making a quick buck or some big bucks along the way, but without actually building a brand or, or a complete company, as it were. Yeah, it, okay, it was a good company, but we were selling silicon spatulas, we were selling gardening products, we were selling vitamins. Yeah, it was a real mix. But with the brand, you can actually start to build um, both horizontally and vertically that brand and, and make that a real entity, yeah, which has – real tangible value as an exit strategy. And if you've got that brand registry, everything is connected and more protected, I guess. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it kind of locks down the competitive advantages. So basically, you know, your customers will get to know your brand and they'll be looking for other products with that brand because they associate it with quality, they've had a good experience in the past and so on. So the brand starts to create a lot of value and becomes valuable in and of itself. And you look at some of the large companies, you know, Apple, Microsoft, and so on, you know, 80% of the value of the company is attributable to the brand because it's that recognition of the quality of the ecosystem that people come for, right? And um, you can create that same brand equity. And then ultimately, you know, for an exit strategy down the road, the whole brand can be sold with the umbrella of products and the, the networks you have with suppliers and so on. So it, it absolutely can become a viable uh, long-term strategy. Yeah, definitely. I know. Um, so I've been reading up on on a few things over here. Spinbrush, the uh, sort of the Spinbrush toothbrush, that got sold. Um, Procter and Ground Gamble, and what they've done is they changed the name, or they put the brand Crest in front of it, and they something like tripled their sales because of that brand recognition in front of a Spinbrush. Spinbrush is a good company, but you know Crest is so much more recognised, and because they put Crest spring brush yeah the sales just went through the roof because of that brand recognition it flows so through the roof. Brand, but let's uh you know it, it's all relative yeah and you can ask more for each uh for each item as well because people know that they're getting a quality item yeah definitely it's a lot of the benefits yeah sure so how do we how do we work with you how, how does everybody get hold of you i know we're going to have a link below in the video um so we're going to click that um but it, is it a case of we can just reach out to you i know um you're going to sort everything out for for the gorillas so john and brendan you can uh, look after that for us um but i'm sure we're going to have a link maybe here maybe here um somewhere below the video uh once this is published you can click on that but basically you will look after us no, yeah, that's basically exactly. what we're asking, yeah? So I'd be more than happy to, uh, to address any concerns personally, and you can just email me at trademarkcraft.com. So uh, any email at trademarkcraft.com will ultimately come to me, but you can order directly through the site if you want to get started on a trademark right away. And uh, we'll put the details down below as well. I had them on the, uh, on the last slide uh, for you too, but uh, we've been working with a lot of Amazon um, sellers, and uh, you know we can do that part of the of the uh, trademark as well. But our main uh, skill is with the USPTO because um, once you have the registration, it opens a lot of doors, not just on Amazon, but lets you stop products in uh, stores like Costco and Walmart and so on. 